Namaste and welcome to today's session of interview. Guest for today's evening is an amazing personality who is from the field of IT as well as wildlife photography. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello and welcome Mr. Srikant Balaji to this session of interview. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Thank you so much for your valuable and honorable, like uh, enthusiastic, like um, welcome for me. Thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. So moving on to the first question, we would like to know about yourself a little bit. Definitely. I'm working as an IT professional from past eight years. And in wildlife photography, almost I doing you know, from last six and a half years and exploring you know, various national parks and birding places in India as of now. So I have been to uh, Kabani, Bandipur, uh, Khanna National Park and uh, what is it, mm, Bandago National Park and uh, Hanumai Tiger Reserves, all the places I have reserved. I mean, uh, I have visited for photographing the mammals and birds as well. Yeah, this is my short brief. Yeah. Okay. So, as you are from the IT profession, so what role are you yeah. currently playing in this field? Um, see, for example, uh, photography is my passion. So, if this is not my profession. So, this is all about my what I would like to click uh, and what makes me happy. So that is the point here. So I started um, clicking uh, animals and birds as well. So which made me happy. So I started uh, exploring one by one and travel and I love travel. So that's why it made me enthusiastic on this field, I mean, particularly on photography. Yeah. What would be your piece of advice to the younger generations who are into uh, the IT, I uh, sorry, IT field as well as wildlife photography? Balancing is a very big part in this uh, field. I mean, for IT and uh, making your passion is definitely uh, what to say, uh, very big um, things you need to. Uh, <clears throat> balancing, you know, because in IT life is different. You are always uh, engaged with your works and at the same time you need to get out to what you want to click or what you want to enjoy because this is your passion, right? So sometimes you need to avoid some situation of your family, uh, what is it, family functions, some birthday celebrations or marriage functions or something you need to give up. So then only you can get leave, right? So it's a, it's a kind of costliest uh, photography. Actually, uh, wildlife is something about costliest thing. If you want to go uh, national parks, then you need to spend some some big um, around money for middle class people like me. So you need to you don't need to take a leave, and same time you need to enjoy that. So you need to uh, what to say avoid this kind of uh, functions and birthday events or uh, friends get together. So you need to avoid these things and you need to uh, go on your path what you want to be. For example, if some person want to be a wildlife photographer in the future, so based on that, he needs to be, um, what to say, focus. Focus is a main, main, main thing here. And uh, and and same time, you need to achieve what you want. So, and then one more thing, you need to be uh, like, uh, what you want to achieve in a goal, you need to stick on that one not for others the click should be the, the click or something photography should make you as i mean first you need to be satisfied with that not for um, satisfying others i taken a camera this is my personal thing like uh, i taken camera for making me satisfaction first then only others i'm not making a clicking for others to click this photo or viewing this photo this is for my satisfaction i'm doing so still running on it you are really doing a tremendous job, which is means uh, very clear from your gallery on Insta Instagram. So, as you are also capturing subjects which are usually captured by other wildlife photographers too, yet you manage to show uh, fleeting emotions. I means you have some uniqueness in those pictures. So, how do you manage this constant creativity? See, making. Creativity is in wildlife photography. It's really, really tough. It's all about time. It's all about situation. In all the time, you will not get us what you want, actually. 
for example for example a scenario i went uh, udumalai tiger reserve some years back and i used to go there because one of my favorite uh, tiger reserve in tamil nadu area i used to go on there to click a tiger in mudumai forest since i don't have much luck on it so i am not able to take i have done more safaris over there to see a tiger in mudumai area see it, it's not about a single day you can get all the stuffs you have to go again and again you need to be a patient you need be you, you need to be a patient as well passion and passion it should be there <laughs> so then only you will get a, a moment so at the moment you need to be there at the moment you need to be ready on your camera and your fingers and your mind and your focus everything should be at that time and everything should works on a perfectly then only your moment will come so in all those uh, trips and all the photography trips will not give you a, a special moment yeah for example i have to say if you doing a 10 safaris or 10 uh, trips in from out of 10 you will get two or three only your uh, special moments not all the 10 uh, trips will be a special and you will not get uh, all the 10 travels i mean 10 trips will give you your exact dream shot still i am running for a dream shot still i didn't get it so i will keep on going that is what you yes, have about passion it's a passion you need to be a patient you need to have a be a patient so both should be work in a part <laughs> what is it uh correct time yeah so i was about to ask you questions based on patience only as, as we have heard uh, the uh, five p's purpose patience practice preparation and passion so it's clear that definitely these five p's govern your photography rules patience for example for wildlife photographer is something different for a single shot we will wait for 4 hours 5 hours for if i am going for a birding photography you need to be wait for light everything is natural it's not about setup it's not about uh, the object sitting on a single place and we are going to take it. you need to be wait for a uh, hours of hours of time you need to waste time but it's for our satisfaction it's for our making us first happy not for others so what i am i am giving a route i am giving i i have to travel there so where, why i want to travel why i want to go there so all the stuffs are need to be calculated there so so focus and patient it will pay like anything but you need to be a uh, what to say mm, wait for the moment but i mean the, the, the exact moment will speak everything the ways of hours you waited and the way uh, the ways you have wasted the time or money or something whatever but a single click pays everything that is called satisfaction that is called uh, happiness everything comes in a single shot <laughs> so you need to be wait for that one single thing so here i would like to ask you one question as you have already told me that your schedule is very hectic on week days so was uh, that hectic schedule one of the main reason that drove you towards wildlife photography um see basically i am from medical um, middle class family people so i need to be in work on uh, 9 to 5 hours of job so then only i can spend money in obviously on saturday sunday so i need to tolerate that whether i like it or i don't like it that is the second part as a as a i need to run my family as well so i need to work on it At same time i need to balance my wishes what i like to do so as a passion i'm not wildlife photographer so i need to wait for sometimes i need to work on it even though i am working in it profession even i'm doing what i like it in my office so that's why i'm working on it so uh, it will be a uh, trouble for on both uh, you know photography as well it profession as well so here it's it's look like it's supporting me as well even office work is supporting me to manage the stress or uh thinking of what can we do how can we click or learning something on new uh, photography skills or learning on it profession as well it's 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 really lucky on this kind of stuff so i i escaped there okay it's really appreciative of you means the way you are handling yeah. everything so i think you have prepared something to share with our viewers why don't you share now 
yeah yeah sure i will share my clicks with uh, details okay so oh, this is my uh, symbol i mean logo which i created for my uh, my friend created for this one so this is a uh, tiger which i i mean taken at uh, kabini uh, last to i mean one month back it was a beautiful moment uh, when a, it was playing in uh, a pond for uh, enjoying the sunny i mean summer climate <laughs> it was sitting in there and uh, this one is elephant i mean tusker which i taken at uh, mudumalai tiger reserve uh, for taking a mud bath on the it, it is also taken at uh, uh, monsoon time so that's why this much uh, muddy is wet and this is uh, lion tail macaque one day we can see in it in uh, valpara western ghats area it's quite rare as well only in this world we can see it in uh, this area i mean valpara south india it's a, it's a, it's okay why this name is uh, lion tail macaque it's uh, the face and the tail is look like a actually looks like a lion actual lion no that's why it's look i mean the name is lion tail macaque so this is a uh, Uh, short yard owl. It's a migratory bird, actually. It's quite a uh, rare. You can see it in a uh, southern part in Tamil Nadu kind of area. Maybe uh, in um, uh, summer seasons you can uh, see it uh, like that. Sorry, it it will be in a monsoon time, not in uh, I mean summer time. The same owl, but uh, I just worked on. Uh, what is says uh, color splashing so just uh, uh, reduce the saturation of other colors and uh, increase the yellow saturation so the eye alone came out as yellow this this much of uh, output so i reduced all the other colors so what happen is automatically the color will comes into black and white and i increase the yellow or tone with a little bit increased so what happen is the eye of the color Uh, Ilo is turned as seen. So this is the output for that. And uh, this is also tiger. And this is another one which uh, I taken at a company. Uh, my favorite one of my favorite shot. This is leopard, which taken in a company. This is uh, one of my. This is also one of my favorite uh, shot, which took it at a company. And this is a lion, same lion tail macaque, but it's a what is it? Zoom. Uh, I mean, full uh, frame of the face alone, which I like to take it. So I take it like this. This is Oriental white eye, which I took in at uh, uh, taken at a uh, yakkad uh, hills. It's a uh, place where I used to go regularly. This is really a uh, quick travel from my home, like uh, around 80 kilometers. One two hours of travel. One and a half hours we can reach there. This is uh, I took at uh, Khana National Park uh, on November month, last November month. It was a beautiful sighting, which almost we have seen this tiger for almost like one and a half hours. It was sitting in front of us. That was a really great experience in my life. And. Uh, This is cute of uh, small elephants which was playing with mother. So I have cropped one say one frame is cropped with the same elephant and another one is uh, in a vertical. I mean another one is horizontal or vertical, just composed like that for my taste. Some action clicks I would like to show this. So this is a flamingo which I take it in Phuket Lake which is in the Chennai. They were dancing. It was something amazing thing which I still know. I I always love this frame. You know, my favorite favorite clip is this one. This is great uh, Indian hornbill uh, taken at a uh, wallpaper. Um, this is also one of the beautiful bird. Which will size is also very big one. You can see it in the southern part, or else you can see it in uh, uh, Assam side. Yes. 
the wings are and beaks are really very big the birds look like like this if you're seen in a uh, what is a natural eye it will be a big one actually it's a beautiful be big big, big uh, beauty actually you can say like that so this is a black shoulder kite which having a kill on his uh, leg i think it's a lizard it was taking a prey for his uh, i mean uh, food this is a fan throater lizard it's really really a very small one if compare if you're seeing in this photo it looks like a big one but actually it's a it's a smaller than your thumb finger actually that that's my that's small size only it looks like but in photograph you are approaching a little bit uh, near to that it it will looks like uh, this much big and flamingo the same shot but it's in a fly flying way i like this shot because the the uh, narrow of this uh, looks like uh, the tail i mean sorry um, the neck and uh, uh, legs look like a same uh, lengthy one so this is also my, one of my favorite photo this is a pied kingfisher so it was uh, hovering for getting his prey so at the time i clicked at that and i framed in a back and white since the color of the bird is also look like a white and black so i made it into black and white this is a uh, dancing beauty of indian pride uh, peacock which i taken it a uh, mudumalai tiger reserve it was dancing like anything one of my favorite uh, frame you know few of my friends got this as a uh, air uh, frame at home for uh, this because they like this frame uh, much and uh, this is a savanna niger one of the rarest bird but i really can't see it very easily because it's a very well camouflaged uh, bird uh the the sand and the bird is also look like same we can't easily find it so this is also rarest bird savanna niger niger is simple but this one savanna niger is quite uh, uh, rare yeah and this is baya weaver which was uh, playing in the nest where i took this shot so it looks like doing any yoga on this nest this is also one of my favorite shot and this is black uh, i think it's a black gull uh, black gull and uh, tern were uh, fighting for their prey uh, this is also favorite shot and one of my favorite always a favorite habitat shot um, the golden uh, uh, time with uh, <coughs> lots of uh, flamingos are playing in the um, down of uh, sunrise i hope you can able to see that fully and this is a samba deer on the habitat it was a beautiful thing which i taken at uh, tadawa national park which is in uh, maharashtra uh, this is group of fans were playing in the company this is also one of my favorite thing and uh, this is a tiger which taken in a company this is a full frame uh, green with a small head only taken out it's, it they called as a backwater female this is a famous tiger in a company area one of the famous sorry my first leopard which i taken in a company as well it's a well camouflage is really first time not able to see it in normal eyes actually it was the, the place and the uh, the way of sitting it's really complicated to see us and finally by god grace by the luck we taken this i mean found we while going at it this is the same picture and i just copied this to visible view and this is shikira which i just taken in my uh, home backyard it was sitting on my uh, home beside my home so one of my favorite here uh, shot which i taken in ashikra pelican this is also i taken near by my home uh, i just made a mat, like a mat finishing method on this photo so here there are two pictures we will say about uh, conservation 
uh, wow, how this is happening and what are the uh, humans need not to do that on wildlife i mean uh, forest kind of um, area since we are uh, throwing out some unwanted things in the nature or forest this is what happening actually so we need to avoid uh, throwing uh, unwanted uh, or wastage outside while traveling to the forest or wildlife related area stuff and this is also a baby elephant is eating a pepper cups and on the uh, place this is how it's happening when we are going to forest we are throwing a pepper cups some other things in the place and unknowingly the this baby elephants are eating something which is looks like tasty it seems so they are doing so it's because of human mistakes this is uh, happening so we just need to avoid this kind of throwing outage i mean throwing uh, wastages in the out, outside places which is near to your forest areas we need to avoid this kind of things i think uh, that, that's it this is my instagram id and you can email me at any time i will reply you well all your pictures were really incredible and my questions were based on a few from them and it's okay that you have already shown and you have shared the storytelling behind those pics but my question now uh, is uh, how is it to come across the troop of lion tail makik in balpara see it's it, uh, it's a quite little complicated actually we need to see in walpara area definitely you can uh, uh, click uh, lion tail market easy even though but um, you need to spend some time and you need to be there for uh, spending uh, times and uh, like because it's not uh, like a not forest area it's a residential area they are already uh, roaming in, in and around all, all the places of walpara so uh obviously <laughs> you have to be way there you have to be uh, um, what to say uh, in in certain places you will be avoided i mean in certain places in in, a, in for example if you go into walpara there will be a lots of plant tech market use but in some places it will be alone like in a forest area i mean outer of walpara you can see something at, at there you can click something like that but even though if it comes to a city part it you can't able to take a camera and uh, things if you do that in it will be probably it's, it's a offense you should not uh, uh, do the Uh, photography stuffs in a uh, residential areas so you need to avoid that so lots and lots of restrictions are there they are conserving well and well on this uh, macaque since these are getting uh, i mean these are getting a uh, low uh, ratio of uh, growing actually so they are con- uh, conserving like anything if you visit walpara you can understand that they have built some uh, bridges for their you, you, they need, they no need to cross the roads they will cross by small small bridges they have uh, constructed over there it's there there are some ngos are taking care of that that was really amazing stuff because that much of conservation of this land help make a queue is really amazing on this walpara uh, places if you are visitor then you, you might have definitely see that on the road itself they have constructed a small bridge which is only for the lion tail macaques which can cross us to avoid such accidents for them yeah it's really interesting to hear that so what future developments would you like to see in your line of work see my thing i didn't set any path i am traveling i i am clicking what i want if i'm thinking i want to go there i will set up i will set something i mean i need to go do like that i will save money i will go there i will enjoy it i will like it that's it i will not uh, the dream of thing is i want to go some places in uh, which is in uh, africa which is in antarctica so that are my dream destinations it's not it's obviously it's a, all while photographers always wish to go there it's about time and money so if you have more money no need to think about anything you can uh, you can travel any day so it's not like a normal thing if we obviously if you are from a middle class family you have to plan like that it's not a simple thing to travel in all over the world 
<laughs> you need to how to say you need to um, uh, uh, wait, I mean you need to um, enjoy with your family as well you need to enjoy yourself so, so both will not happen as same day so you need to wait for that so let's see I, I, I didn't mark uh, this is my goal I need to achieve that I will go like anything I will fly like anything I whenever I get a time so not all the day I will not click I not all the day I will not sit as <laughs> Well, Africa, Kenya, they are on the in the list of many wildlife photographers. Yeah, most mostly almost everyone's everyone's. So, uh, as per my knowledge, as per my knowledge, I'm repeating. Uh, most of the wildlife photographers loves Kenya because the place of sauna is differently from India. The background, you as a photographer, if you are seeing as a photographer, the background will be very good. The animals are much easily you can get it even though comparative india something i mean safaris their safaris are different our safaris are very different so so it's all about like uh, spending time in wild is higher than india actually you can you can uh, get a lot more shots different shots so that's why everyone is like to willing i mean they are willing to go uh, kenya mostly but uh, even i also have like to go there and, uh, I like to go Antarctica for whales and uh, enjoying with the penguins or something. So that is also my one of my dream, but still it's more costlier than Kenya, I think so, <laughs> from India. Yeah. So may you could fulfill all your future endeavors. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Thank you for that. As your gallery is mostly filled with photographs of elephants and tigers, are they your yeah. favorite animals? Hello. I love elephants very much. They are something different. They are very gigantic. If you see in the live, it will be something very different. I mean, different. Same time, it's Indian pride of uh, tigers. Definitely, how can I say? Uh, how, how can't I say that it's not my favorite? Definitely, tiger is also my favorite. Uh, I mean, I enjoy like I love that lot actually. But still, my dream is to click a cup small. Clubs, but quite rare. Uh, there are there are places to click. As people are clicking nowadays in Taroba, Bandhada, but still I am not able to go there. I am planning for that booty. Okay, so you have shared a lot of storytelling from your film. So the last words are yours. What do you say to the, our viewers at this moment? See. <laughs> I could say, see, traveling, it's all about uh, their passion. Uh, I can't, uh, 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 what is it? I can't say if you have to do that, you have to do that. It's not like that. What you like, what you can, you do it. It's really ha making you happy, do it. But don't hurt others. That is what I can say. Uh, and... Um, like uh, it's not about like or uh, it's not about uh, making money it's all about satisfactions that's what i always say that travel enjoy and same time without any disturbance with others like uh, so mm, that's what i wish that is my policy i am doing i don't like to involve anyone i, I mean I, I will not hurt i uh, you have to do you have to click like that you have to click like that it's not like that it's up to you. It's my camera. It's my view. I'm going to click that. I'll learn myself. Uh, if you are able to teach us, teach it. If you are able to guide someone, yeah, you can guide it. It's not, you should not force them. You have to be like that. You are. It's not like that. So you, have, you can able to suggest someone. If you are having a capability, yes, go ahead. But don't push someone to do this one. You have to click like that. You have to do like that. It's not. It's not my. It's not my policy actually. If someone asking me to suggest, yes, I can do it. But I will not go and say, why you are clicking like that? Why you are clicking like that? Why you are disturbing? If you are disturbing something on your uh, wildlife, then I will ask them. If this is not a right way to disturbing the birds for a flying shot. I want I want to uh, take a, like this shot. I, so I will disturb. No, that is a wrong way. It softens. You should, that, that, that kind of things, people nobody is not understanding that. So they, they, they must know that. It's wildlife means not not only about clicking. You should conservating. You should keep 
our mammals or birds keep safe as well that is also important here but so that is what my ex, uh, what is it? that is what uh, my experience which i would like to share to everyone well said mr balaji and hope your words are really valuable to our audience also these are really valuable to mine and uh, mr balaji we are end of this interview session thank you so much for attending this session and i must say that you are truly an amazing and inspiring personality it was great interacting you. with you thank you so much thank you so much back to you are uh... youtube also get uh, more views and more subscribes and your team as well also get more fulfilled with your all enjoyments and future good and ever for your life as well it's really good to hear okay. all yeah, my pleasure okay. so audience this is shrikan balaji from the field of wildlife photography and itv so hope you like today's interview i will be back soon with another eminent personality very soon till then thank you so much for watching thank you